This is a toaster, a video toaster. You plug this $2,500 card of electronics into a $1,000 computer, and you have your own television studio. Dr. Shisei Nishihara is about to point a laser beam into this man's ear. Richard Hart, welcome to the next step in technology. As you may recall from our last episode, Dorothy was transported from Kansas to the land of Oz by a tornado. Well, there's a new tornado brewing in the wheat fields of Kansas. It's a kind of vortex of VCRs, computers, corporate jets, Ferraris, and cellular phones. And for our heroes, Paul and Tim, this doesn't look like Kansas anymore. Camcorders, VCRs, cable TV, 500 channels, toasters. Toaster? The heart of the video revolution is not in Hollywood or New York or Silicon Valley, but in Topeka, the Grain Belt. Here, deep in the heart of Kansas, is a company, no, a culture, that has changed the way we look at video, the way Hollywood looks at special effects, and it's changed the language. No, friends, this is not a toaster. This is a toaster. A video toaster. You plug this $2,500 card of electronics into a $1,000 computer, and you have your own television studio. It's icon driven, uh, essentially, which means there's a little picture which you double click and an effect happens again. Kiki Stockhammer is New Tech's evangelist, traveling the world to show unbelieving major market TV engineers how the toaster, a simple five grand video effects box, performs like the hundred grand Grass Valley Switcher or Quantel paint box they just bought last year. And people are going to look at this and go, aha, she has special training. She is probably a video engineer. She went to TV school. No. I did not. Uh, I basically sat down and just started playing with the product. I never read the manual. I asked a lot of questions, which was a good thing. Again, it's very intuitive. You double click on an icon, you get instant results. The Video Toaster Workstation is based on the Amiga 2000 or 2500 computer. It can be used as a frame store, switcher, digital effects device, character generator, and paint and 3D animation system, each costing in the mid to high five figures. Now, with a price approximating a used Yugo, you'd think it would be attractive only to the home video file. Think again. It's showing up more and more on broadcast television, like MTV and the new spacey Babylon 5 series, which was produced by a six-month-old company called Foundation Imaging. We started Foundation Imaging in our collective back bedrooms, literally. Our, our back bedrooms were full of equipment that we scrounged together, and we sold Warner Brothers a two-hour movie of the week, and then we put the whole thing together, and it took us six months. Are you saying to the people watching, you can do it too? If you have the talent, yes. There is no, no excuse. You'd expect a company like New Tech to have legions of suits, executives, marketing personnel, CEOs, and so on. You're looking at them. Tim Jennison and Paul Montgomery, former computer dweebs, only now dweebs with money. There's this, what they call the Royal Barge Syndrome, where uh, the board of directors keep a close eye on the way companies are spending the money. You know, the, the, the stockholders and the board of directors, it's their fiduciary responsibility to make sure that the company is efficient and lean and, and does prudent things. But we are just flying the opposite direction. We're being ostentatious and, uh, and conspicuous consumption. Yeah, but why Topeka? Well, there are no distractions. I mean, there's no good restaurants, there's no good movie theaters, and there's no nightclubs. So uh, uh, we've created an environment where um, you know, we have our own video arcade, we have our own movie room, we have our own museum, we have everything that people uh, enjoy. 
The language of our generation is television, but until now, the only ones who could speak it were those who could afford the bread. The rest of us listen, but now we're toasted. Desktop video is giving the power of uh, a television to uh, the common man. Uh, it's taking all the expensive equipment that you'd find in a TV station and making it available to people who make weddings and uh, want to edit birthday parties or whatever. Uh, the toaster is making this into a true art form because anybody can do it now. Next up.